Hello and welcome to all you Scorpios. Mm -hmm. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for July 2016. A very important month for Scorpios because Mars is uh, going direct now in your sign. And um, I'm going to talk about three things actually, but the first thing is definitely Mars in your sign going direct. When a planet goes retrograde, it's always interesting to have a look at what degree it's standing still after it has gone retrograde, before it goes direct again. And for you, it's some 23 degrees of Scorpio. So it uh, went backwards and uh, stood still, and now it going, it's going forwards on 23 degrees of Scorpio, then 24, and so on. Now, uh, it's always interesting to have a look at what fixed star is there, round about that 23 degrees, because it gives a bit of information, it gives the flavor of what this is all about. And I'm going to read it for you. So the fixed star that is there is called Agena or Achena, A-G-E-N-A. And this is what it stands for. Honor as speaker or writer, great mental and physical powers, legal authority, it gives uh, position, friendliness, friendship, refinement, morality, health, honor. It can give a love of arms. It can give a strong passion. It can give an energetic nature. So um, it has a flavor of the Venus-Jupiter conjunction. So this is what this fixed star is all about. So um, this is about you this, because it's Mars in your sign and... Um, especially when Mars is on that fixed star, it heightens the passions. The strong, it, it already says, you know, this fixed star is associated with strong passions. And Mars in Scorpio is all about having, being strong-willed and um, not, not taking no for an answer. But there's two things here with this Mars in Scorpio. For some of you Scorpios out there, it will have meant to surrender and to let go. And uh, for others, um, it will have meant to keep on going and um, to battle. So it depends on your personal chart and it depends on your context, what, what it will mean. And um, so this is very, very important for you Scorpios because it uh, might, it, it can mean that now with that Mars going forwards in your sign, you're um, starting something new. And uh, something that you've been wanting to do for a long, 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 long time. And that is typical with the Mars going retrograde and then going forwards when it goes backwards in your sign. That only happens, you know, uh, that doesn't happen a lot. And uh, Mars in your sign is only every two years. So there is like a very new beginning for you. But that new beginning, whether that might have been something that you have let go of, uh, a part of yourself, basically. So... It's, um, it's not always easy to know because sometimes we cling on to things in, in, and that's the negative side of Scorpio. So the negative side of Scorpio is that pit bull energy and it clings way too much onto something and it doesn't want to let go. And, um, and, the, and the more it knows that, that you should let go because deep down inside the Scorpio knows that and they just cannot let go because they have put like not a hundred percent but a thousand percent of energy already in it so that's why it's so hard to let go and the underlying t tone is is fear uh, and of, of losing of control that's why people with with strong scorpio they don't easily say um they don't take no for an answer very easily so it might have been something like that that you have let go and and um uh, of something and that you say hey I, I submit here you know through the, the divine and um, that's basically a part of me that I'm going to put away and it's going to free me up and that's healing because um, that Mars there at 23 degrees of Scorpio is trining a Chiron in Pisces um, so there's definitely healing going on here when you let go of something that no longer suits you and that you've been stick to so long and now all of a sudden you can let go that is a tremendous release it's like a rebirth that's why scorpio is associated with death and rebirth 
or it can ha it it can be enough if you are having the context stuff i've been wanting to accomplish something that's really good for me and uh, but i had a bit of fear of doing it then the energy is about not letting go and about going for it and now you see that it's that it, that you're getting there so um so i've always uh, you no no it's always context of a that's why doing general horoscopes is so difficult but um, you know your context better than I do. So if you know that you've been wanting something very long, but you were afraid of doing it, now you feel that strength of, yes, I'm ready for it and um, I'm doing it. So whatever it is, a project, um, uh, it's about you. It's like a new part that you're showing of yourself as well and that you don't, you're no longer hiding it and uh, you feel free, freed up. So I could talk hours and hours about just this transit, um, but it's a very positive one. Ultimately, it's very positive. It brings um, a release for some of you and for others, it brings uh, results and um, that's good. What else? Um, there's also an emphasis on cancer planets, the sun in cancer, Venus in cancer, Mercury in cancer. That is a fellow water sign, so that's good. And it's in your ninth house, which is also very, um, very, uh, uh, a very nice house. It's the house of uh, your view upon life, your beliefs, your um, hope, uh, your connection with the divine, your um, morals, <laughs> your um, it's law, it's astrology, it's uh, traveling. So you could be traveling there. Now, uh, especially with Venus in the ninth house there and traveling is very lovely um, to, to have a good time, to enjoy yourself, to um, maybe with the new moon there, to start a new uh, love affair um, and uh, enjoying that. Of course, planets that pass through Cancer will always bump into Pluto and uh, Uranus, so it will always um, uh, be a bit uh, under light stress. Uh, it depends again on your personal chart, but um, the stress could be that uh, when you want to control things. So if you are traveling, for instance, you want to control everything, don't do that. Just enjoy. Um, or um, studies as well. It could mean that um, maybe you are studying or you have to study or you have to teach something to others. And it is quite powerful, but it's quite, it, it demands effort. And it demands uh, lots of authenticity and um, lots of uh, um, sometimes lots of uh, courage to go against the stream, you could say. Now, that's during the first two weeks of the month. And then the last two weeks of the month, there is this lovely energy in your 10th house in Leo. And that is positive energy, positively aspected with Saturn and Uranus. I made a separate video about that because um, so click on the link below, which is about the trine between Saturn and Uranus to to explore a little bit more on that. But basically what this means is the following that uh, um, tent house is your career house, but it's also your house of your social status, how, how other people see you. And um, it's good having Venus there uh, with a trine to Saturn and Uranus. So it's not only Venus, it's also um, the Sun and Mercury that are going to touch Saturn and Uranus. On a very general level, it really means that when it comes to work, you can, and when it has been hard, for instance, uh, lately, you can find now a, um, a sort of uh, equilibrium between stability and between what you've already learned over the years and then something new and something fresh at the same time. So it's that Saturn and that Uranus that comes together. So um, it's good to ask for a promotion. Absolutely, go for it. It's good to um, to start a new business with that Venus trine with Saturn and Uranus. Um, that is all good energy for you uh, Scorpios and it's very stable. So it's new, it's fresh and it's stable at the same time. 
So, um, but the most significant thing is definitely that Mars in your first house. So uh, enjoy the, the newness about you and you're ready to show it to others as well because, uh, and people will see it. People will see the transformation. So for all Scorpios, especially if you've got a rising sign or if you've got a sun sign or if you've got a moon sign, around 20 up until the end of, uh, of Scorpio, you will definitely sense a very huge transformation that has occurred. So um, having said that, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing and um, see you next month. Bye bye.